Welcome to my first video on VChain development. Today, VChain released their testnet, which is super exciting. In my opinion, VChain is going to be the most successful blockchain in the world. So I'm very excited to start developing on the platform. So uh, hopefully uh, I can learn and teach you guys in the process. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the repository. So here is the VChain Thor repository and we can install the Thor client and connect to the VChain test network. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have Go installed, and I already do, so make sure that you install that for your operating system. You also want to make sure that you have Git installed, and if you don't know how to do that, you can just Google. It should be pretty easy. Next, under your home directory, make sure you create a directory called Go, and switch that directory. Next, under Go, go ahead and create another directory called source. Switch that directory. Next, we'll go ahead and clone the GitHub repository for Thor. CD to the directory. Next, we need to install the dep, which is the dependency manager for Go. You can see that uh, I don't have that yet. Go ahead and run this command to install the dependency manager. Notice that we need to make sure that we have our root go bin directory. So here's the structure. We have go, we have bin and source underneath. Go ahead and run the command one more time. Next, we'll go back into our source directory and run, make sure we have depth, and we sure do. I also have my uh, go environment variable. I'm not sure if you need that, but I went ahead and put that anyways. So I have the go path that's going to be in your bin shell file, in your uh, .sh, .sh file. Uh, so go ahead and set that. Um, again, I'm not sure if you need that, but I just went ahead and did that. Uh, so next, like I said, we need to go ahead and, uh, since we're in this directory, we, we need to go ahead and uh, switch into Thor. And we need to run our dependency to make sure everything is there. This will install the dependencies for Go. This might take a while. Next, we're going to go ahead and type make to compile the source code. Next, type make all. Now, keep in mind that your server has to have the exactly the accurate time. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to connect to the VChain test network. So you can run the NTP update to make sure your time is in sync. Next, go ahead and switch to the bin directory. And here we're going to run the command to actually connect to the VChain network, test network. The only thing is I went ahead and added the verbosity to 10 because I want to see all the messages. And also I need to specify the IP address that I'm going to listen onto. So I don't want I don't want to uh, use the local host 127.0.0.1. Instead, I want to use my real interface. And that's it. We're connected to the network. Pretty exciting. Next, let's go ahead and launch the client so we can actually run some test commands and make sure that everything is working properly. For that, I'll just open up a browser and point it to my IP address to the default port of 8669. And I can start running some test commands. So for example, if I want to get an address, try it out, execute. So you can see that I'm getting the 200 code and I'm getting the value back, the balance, energy. Still not familiar with API. This is definitely something that uh, we're going to have to wait uh, for more uh, documentation from the VChain team. But at least we can see that uh, everything is working. If you want to run the same command in the command line, you can do that. Just copy the curl command. You can see that we're getting the same value. So that's it. Hopefully you can get your client up and running. And uh, we're all, again, are just anticipating more documentation from VChain on how to send transactions, how to compile the smart contracts, how to send and receive payments, and so on. So pretty exciting times ahead. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.